Follow my cheap profession on the key possession. I'm OD aggressive when I run the rock. See me flexing in the winning section. If they press a bombing on them off the top, slump a hater, leave them in the field. Oh, I'm in the kitchen whipping up a dot. Took it from the bottom to the top. Certified man and money shot. Toss a bullet, hit you in the chest, and send a burn across your face from mind to slot. Please don't test them, I bring heat and brush it. Have my hitter brush, you move you off the spot. Slump a hater, leave them in the field. Oh, I'm in the kitchen whipping up a dot. Took it from the bottom to the top. Certified man and money shot. If you guys are looking for fast, cheap, reliable coins for your college football 25 team, check out my coin sponsors at MMOXP and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. The champ is here! Welcome back, my team. This is Matt MONEYSHOT, sniffing out the college football cheese as always. In today's video, I have an updated defense for you guys that I'm going to be using in the playoffs against other players that made it to the playoffs, including the national championship. But I'm starting off showing you guys just a regular game because I'm not trying to see a bunch of ignorant comments of people saying it only works because I'm using Georgia. Just so you guys know, I pretty much use Texas State which is a one star team and it doesn't really seem to matter who I'm playing as I'm playing the Trojans in this first game and I'm going to get the exact same results gotcha, bitch. as we get an interception on the very first play after that we score a few plays later and then my opponent throws another interception on the very next play of the next drive ultimately rage quitting knowing that he has nothing for this defense and if you still don't believe it's the defense and not the team i'll have a link in the description that was on screen at the end of the video of the last video i made out where i only used texas state but when it comes to the playoffs and trying to win the national championship i'm definitely going to switch to georgia not because i think that they're the better team but because i think that they have the best offensive playbook in the entire game and the only offensive ebook that i put out this year and they also have my favorite defense which is what i'm going to show you guys today and i have ebooks out for both so if you guys need more help or more money plays you can download these or any of my ebooks instantly simply by clicking the links in the description or the top pin comment now the plays i'm going to show you today are from a formation called the 3-3 mint but if you don't have that in your favorite playbook there are a couple of other formations that are exactly the same formations like the 3-3-5 tight and the 3-3 odd in the first video that i made about this defense i showed you guys the cover three match and i still use this quite a bit and you're still going to want to flip the play in the huddle the exact same way so that your rush angles look like this but i've also added a few new steps one of which is to pinch the defensive line every single time by hang d-pad to the left and down and then i also put this outside linebacker on a QB spy which you can do quickly by hitting the d-pad to the left twice which I find is probably the most helpful adjustment when you're facing a mobile quarterback like Jalen Milrow. Just make sure that the player that you have in a spy is fast enough to handle that responsibility. And the last two steps are completely optional but they will help out when it comes to run defense and that is to move my user linebacker here to about 8 to 10 yards off the line of scrimmage as this depth is too far away for the offensive line to target you making it much easier to shoot gaps after the play starts. And I also like to sometimes spread my linebackers which is d-pad to the left and up to get this outside linebacker out just a little bit further as this will help with edge containment and you can see on the very next play that it does help out as he might have had an inside zone there but decided to take it outside and there was nowhere to run on third and long he tries to spread me out and run around with the quarterback and this is exactly what the qb contain is for is all i have to do is push in the r3 button also known as the right stick and this qb spot will go after the quarterback as it looks like this guy is going to cover the running back in the flat but for some reason he goes after the quarterback as well so i don't know if i push the button in too many times but I know in Madden it doesn't allow you to send more than one guy when you push in the right stick so I really don't know what happened there on the next play since he's got three wide to the wide side of the field I decided to go with the Mabel concept instead as you can really use this outside linebacker in a couple of different ways as I can still push in the right stick if he scrambles in that direction on the next play though I go back to the QB spy and I start to play about 10 yards off the line of scrimmage as I shoot the gap and take the running back down for no gain sit your ass down now you can also send a blitz out of this, which I do send from time to time, but I let the offense choose when I do it. Whenever the linebacker here is in his gap, you can do a blitz similar to blitzing all linebackers, which is D-pad to the right and down on the right stick. And this is because the blitzing linebacker has no immediate responsibility off the line of scrimmage because the seam flat will match the receiver on the left. I, however, have to match the receiver on the right in the slot. But for the blitz to work, I have to hover this guard gap before dropping back into coverage, which I feel I can still do from this distance. So I drop down over the guard, 
yard, and he must have seen something because he audibles over to a run play. And I'm not in my run defense setup, as being this close to the linemen are definitely going to target me. So if you start to play this way, you're going to get blown off the ball, as I spend most of the play running towards a receiver that's not even going on a route anyways. And on the next play, now that he's under center and has run most of the drive so far, I'm going to switch over to my cover zero defense and guess run up the middle, which is hang RB or R1 and down the right stick. As you can run commit from cover zero without any penalty to the coverage if it's an actual pass play. And it looked like we're going to get the stop right here, but he gets kind of a BS animation back to back to punch it in on the very first drive. Bullshit. On offense, he's running the exact same mid-blitz meta that most people are running. It has no effect on me as I know how to pick up the blitz. So we just slide pro and we go right down the field on a simple drag route to the metal, stop. with a couple of stick skill moves later to get inside the 10. Before calling what's probably my favorite play in the entire game out of the gun deuce close called the halfback swing as this play is just guaranteed yards. Oh shit that's just too easy. Back on defense, I actually get a chance to set up my audibles as I really only run three plays to play defense this entire game. The pinch bug zero is my number one run defense. I already showed you that. And the cover three match, which is probably my favorite pass defense, but this defense can be a little bit glitchy when it comes to the deep coverage responsibilities. So I started recently using the cover three cloud, which is really what today's video is about. But it's really just a different coverage as the setup is the exact same way. I'm going to pinch the defensive line. I'm going to drop my user back about eight to 10 yards. And I'm going to put this outside linebacker in a QB spy as I shoot the gap on the next play and just miss the tackle so after he runs on the very next play i switch over to the cover zero and run commit and he picks the perfect time to catch me off guard with a fake end around that turns into a screen as i have no defenders on that side of the field bring that ass here boy he tries to run again on the next play, but this run defense is solid as we shut him down for what should have been a loss. On second and 10, he comes out with no run threat, so we basically just spread the line this time and guess pass. And I don't know if this guy thinks he's Don McNabb or what, but he literally runs around for 11 seconds. On third and long, he tries to do it again, and I just push in the right stick for the QB spy. How about new? And we end the drive as he misses a field goal. On offense, since my opponent is spamming with man zero blitz, I'm gonna use the speed boost glitch. Break yourself, fool! And hopefully that forces him to play real defense next time. Back on defense, my opponent is trying to run around like a chicken with his head cut off and make a play. <laughs> And you can tell his defense is frustrating him as he throws in a double coverage to end the half. Got him. Back on offense, we're running some RPOs and it's all stick work at this point. As you know when your opponent starts doing this, that you're in that guy's head and he knows he can't tackle you. On the next play, since I've been hitting a lot of underneath routes, you can see he brings the cover two safety down in an attempt to try to cut this off on third and six. But that just lets this guy get open right over the top. Back on defense, you can tell that this guy's game plan is mostly running around with the athleticism of Jalen Milrow, which is what most people do when they play with Alabama. <laughs> Sit down and study! As I accidentally switch stick off my user on the next play, but at least I put him in perfect position so I can come back. <laughs> From here, welcome to Pound Town, as we don't plan on throwing the ball another time as we get into the fourth quarter. But he must know that as he starts coming out in field goal safe defense. What a pussy. And I'm cool with that. As we punch it in, to go up three touchdowns with only two minutes left in the fourth quarter, and my opponent's had enough as he taps out mid-celebration. See ya! As we make it to the national championship game against the exact same Alabama team. But this guy almost scores right off the rip as he hits me with an RPO and almost takes it to the house. Oh no you don't! So now he's in the red zone, I'm going to basically use the cover three match and hard flat every single time because short throws are definitely more valuable real estate since there is no deep coverage area to cover. And you can see how the run defense is still shutting him down as he tries to run the next two plays getting inside the five. Anytime my opponent is on the goal line like this, I gotta stop the run first. So I'm gonna run commit from man zero blitz. And I'm also gonna use the blitzing middle linebacker who's not covering the running back, so I'll have a little bit more freedom to roam. <laughs> As we push him back and force him to go for it on fourth and four. <laughs> I spend the rest of the quarter just trying to get off the goal line as this guy's defense forces me to go for it on fourth down multiple times and we pick it up every single time. As he's mostly running man coverage so I start to hit some drag routes and some comeback routes to get down the field before hitting him with a drag over the middle to score and take a 7-0 lead. 
One of my favorite things about this defense is it's a split coverage, which means half of it's cover three and the other half is cover two, which really confuses a lot of people as to what is actually getting open. As my opponent tries to hit a simple corner route gotcha, bitch. and throws an interception instead, as we're going back the other way to get the ball inside of field goal range with only 20 seconds left. From here, though, he's still running those cover one minutes, so we just hit him with a double drag once again, and we got a catch and run easy touchdown to take a 14 0 lead going into half. Fuck you! I get the ball in the second half, too, and those drags are still putting in work. I On the next play, since he's running a lot of man coverage, I wanted to see if this wheel route would get open. And it turns out he's running his own, but it doesn't matter as he still gets wide open over the top to get inside the five. And my opponent's had enough. Well, yeah. As not one team I faced in the playoffs actually finished the game, and I only gave up a total of seven points. So that's that's the video. If you guys want to see more videos like this, more defensive tips, I'll have that popping up on screen. And until next time, thanks for watching, man. Let's shout out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.